what's up you guys it's coach Jelena back in the building and as you guys can see from the title of this video we're gonna talk a little bit about some money okay we're gonna talk about how to pay you how to reward you because you've been doing all this work putting in all this time going to the post office on the computer responding back to emails but we're gonna talk about how to properly pay you Before we get into this, do not forget March 10th, I'm having a 10K and 90 day blueprint webinar. So if you're interested in anything pertaining to internet marketing, if you want to figure out how to make $10,000 in 90 days, how to better your business, how to be motivated within your business, click the link in the description box, read a little bit more about the webinar and get a ticket. And it's 40% off. 40% off so if you want a ticket you can probably go get 40% off if you get there in time once again I'll have everything linked below with the discount code and all that good stuff but the flash sale is only for today so that's only if you see this video today but moving on to the purpose of this video and excuse how I look I'm literally I've been glued to my computer all day so bear with me but when you are in the process of figuring out how to pay yourself as a business owner, you need to figure out quite a few things because it's not one of those things where like, hey, I just made 10 sales today. I, I have X, Y and Z in my account. I'm going to go. I'm going to go to the mall. This is my money. No. If that's how you're living your business life, you're probably going to end up broke. And we don't want that to happen. We want to make really good decisions for our business so that we can keep thriving and all that good stuff. So the first thing that you need to do when it is time, listen, when it is time to eventually pay yourself, because I would say don't start putting your hand in the money jar, the business money jar until about a year. Well, let's say six months to a year in. And the reason I say that is because you want to at least build your funds up so that you have a consistent baseline and then from there you can start taking a little bit but also replenishing that income as well so it's not looking like you're missing out on anything but before you start dibbling and dabbling the first thing that you need to do when it is time to start paying yourself and also different employees if you have different people on your team as well is figuring out what type of entity are you in and at this point if you're six months in a year in you should know what type of a business entity you're in if you're in a partnership with someone if you're a sole proprietor if you're in an s corp if you're just doing a dba thing and it's just you at this point you should know what type of entity your business is categorized under so once you figure out that piece of information the next thing that you need to think about is the owner's draw because that's how a lot of business owners pay themselves now if you have no idea what the owner's draw is i'm gonna tell you and i'm gonna give you guys the exact a definition of what an owner's draw is before we get into it in the most simple terms an owner's draw is a way for owners to withdraw money from their business for their own personal use and the, the reason I wanted to mention that that is because when you withdraw money from your business account you're essentially making your business worth less and the reason you're doing that is because you're taking your hand and you're putting it in the jar and you're pulling money out and you're going shopping and you're paying rent and you're paying car notes and you're, you're buying car like you're you're diminishing the worth of your business. So that's something that you also need to acknowledge before you start putting your hand in a little money jar. OK, uh, the next thing you want to acknowledge is salary. When it's time to start paying yourself, what type of salary are you going to have? Is that are you do you plan on paying yourself a week on a weekly basis? But do you plan on paying yourself bi-weekly or monthly? And then and then you need to figure out the rates. Now, this is the hardest part because I can't get on camera and be like, hey, pay yourself minimum wage. Like, no, I can't say that. You need to figure out a rate that works for you, in my opinion. And what has worked for me is putting yourself on a salary budget. Figure out over the course of this six months and a year of having your business, figure out how much profit you notice that your business makes. Or uh, once you check your projection logs and your profit and loss logs, how much income does your business typically earn by the end of each month on a, on a consistent basis? So let's say 
In January, your business made $5,000. March, your business made $6,000. April, your business made $8,000. We'll just go with the baseline of saying your business as a whole brings in a roughly about $5,000 a month. That's what I mean. You kind of want to go with the lowest amount because each month is going to be set up a little bit differently. Um, but you always want to have like a, a projection sheet of how much minimum wise your your business will bring in so you know how much to pay yourself and then from there you can figure out if you chose the salary option which in my opinion is the best option hey every single month i know that i'm going to take out four thousand dollars and put that into my account and that would be your personal money and of course you wouldn't be taking any taxes out but that is something that you must do at the end of the year when you do decide to when you do decide when you fi do file your own personal taxes as well now another way that you can pay yourself as well so let's say that you did want to you know you 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 in a sense pick a salary budget to take out instead of paying yourself once a month you can also do that bi-weekly as with a normal job and just split that four thousand dollars as we just talked about into two payments and just have that automatically go into your personal checking account as if it was a check so it's li literally you guys have to 100 percent treat your business as a regular nine to five would treat their employees because at the end of the day you're just an employee it's, the only thing is you run the show now something that I do that works for me, I wanted to hook some uh, hook a debit card up that took out direct deposit out of my business account. But for some reason I had the hardest time figuring all of this out. So if you guys have a solution out there, let me know, but I'm going to tell you guys what I do. I could not figure out a way to be able to take out a direct deposit from my business checking account. So what I did was I have um, the Cash App. So with the Cash App, um, the Cash App is literally kind of like a prepaid card. So I went and I ordered the Cash App card. And the Cash App allows you to um, accept recurring payments or, in a sense, uh, recurring deposits from whichever account you have it linked up to. And that's what I did. So every two weeks, I have a recurring deposit for a specific amount that automatically comes out of my business checking account. And that's my personal money. I don't ever touch my business, uh, business card. I don't have to, especially when it comes to personal uses. Now, when it comes to things like if I need income, or if I need to do some type of expense for my business of course I use my business cards but anything that has to deal with me my personal use if I'm having a girls night if I'm buying hair I pay for my own hair like even from myself like I literally treat my business as if it's someone else's business um, and I purchase purchase everything just so I don't lose out on money and that's how I'm able to save and also be able to budget things accordingly um so that you know you know I can be a good business woman but um this was just a super quick video for me to just show you guys exactly how I go about paying myself as a business owner I do hope this video helped you guys if you guys do have some questions regarding anything leave them in the comment section and I'll do my best to get to them otherwise check out the sale that I have going on on amanajelena.co it's 40% off over there I'll leave the discount code in the description box and also don't forget about the webinar that I am having March 10th if you do want to read up on a little bit more of the information regarding the webinar I have that in the description box as well but I love you guys don't forget to like this video and also subscribe for more business tips and tricks but other than that I will see you guys in my next video Mwah!